So, coronavirus quarantine, my cousin Galen here, director of Mass Bike. He's going to take me on an 80 mile bike ride. All right, today we're going to go on a long extended bike ride. We're going to go on a rail trail um, from Reston, Virginia, all the way out to Leesburg, which is a straight and flat pathway with no traffic. Then we're going to hop across the river on the White's Ferry, take the CNO Canal Towpath Historic Park all the way back into Washington, D.C., loop on a rail trail on the Virginia side and bring us all the way back to Reston. It's going to be 80 miles of riding today. Today should offer an adventure full of many wonderful sights, incredible animals, me losing my pants a couple times, and probably a lot of pain, because 80 miles for a novice rider like me is no joke. Especially when much of that ride is on a bumpy gravel trail. I wonder if today will change how I feel about riding a bike. So cute. Decay's brown snake. It's the cutest little thing. Right? I am Koa, resident biologist of this lovely channel, and you are welcome to join the team by subscribing for free if you respect nature and enjoy the outdoors. And today I'm joined with Galen Mook, director of the Massachusetts Bicycle Coalition, aka Mass Bike. Galen has been quarantining at my place after his conferences in DC were all canceled. He and Mass Bike are all about promoting a bicycle friendly environment and encouraging people to bicycle for fun, fitness, and transportation. And the other day Galen came up to me and was like, I have an idea. Let's go for an 80 mile bike ride around the Potomac River from Virginia into Maryland and into DC. And since I'm not really one to turn down a challenge, I was just like, yeah, sure, let's do it. I figured 80 miles on a bike, that's what? eight hours of riding if we're going at 10 miles per hour. Yeah. The longest bike ride I've ever been on in my life is like six miles when I rented the bike share bike for that one episode where I found the nice snapper. So yeah, 80 miles. My legs probably won't fall off, right? But Galen did warn me that I would need to buy padded shorts. And that did worry me a bit. Galen is my bike guru on this 80 mile biking adventure and I invite you along to enjoy the experience. Good for the earth, good for the body, good for the mind. But before we go, we gotta do the bike check to make sure that your bike is working smooth. So, first thing we gotta do is do the ABC, stands for air, brakes, and chain. So what we gotta do is make sure you have air in the tires, give them a good squeeze, make sure they feel pretty hard. Check your brakes, squeeze your brakes, make sure they lock out so you're gonna be able to stop securely and safely. And the last thing is make sure your chain is on. Pick up the back wheel, give it a good spin. ABC, air, brakes, chain. And then do one more wheel in the front. You're pretty good to go. Okay. I'll see you out there. All right. We start on the Washington and Old Dominion Trail, which used to be a railroad line that was abandoned in 1968 and purchased 10 years later by the Northern Virginia Regional Park Authority. Another 10 years later in 1988, this very long multi-use trail was completed. All right, welcome to the Washington Old Dominion Rail Trail. It cuts right from Washington, D.C. all the way out west. This is a remnant of the olden days. We're gonna be on this trail for the first, oh, I don't know, 15 miles or so. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, enjoy it. And we have to take a brief stop. Uh, I need to write my state senators to make sure that they don't close bike shops uh, during this coronavirus and that they are considered essential businesses. So give me a second. No worries. Duty calls. And you can thank Galen's persistent advocacy right. these last weeks for the recent designation of bike shops as essential businesses during this time of health crisis. Bicycling is a big industry supporting many jobs as well as the only transit method for many people. 10 to 12 miles into this and my butt is already hurting. <laughs> That's a great time though. Man's progress. So today I'm glad we found one bike shop that was open in Leesburg because even though the ride has been really nice and fairly easy along the W and OD trail, Galen wasn't joking when he suggested I would need padded shorts. So this has padding? Yeah. We're getting bike shorts because our butts are. <laughs> All right, I got me some uh, bike padding right there. Okay. 
There you go. <laughs> We found a very welcoming community bicycle shop called Revolutions by Maverick that even had a coffee shop inside. We also picked up some supplies I was short on, adding to the lights and multi-tool we brought. Galen also bought some spare tubes, a small pump, and a tire lever. We went into Old Town Leesburg, reminding ourselves that this side of the river was once Confederate territory ate some lunch, found some good luck, and jumped on the few miles of our journey that was shared with cars as we needed to get to White's Ferry to cross the Potomac River and into Old Union territory. Cool, right? Yeah. I'm glad we're doing this, Kyle. Yeah, this is fun. We are catching the ferry. All right, welcome to White's Ferry. This is our crossing the Potomac. We go from Virginia to Maryland. And once we get across on that side, we hop on the CNO, the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal towpath that takes us all the way in, no cars, just towpath all the way into Georgetown and Washington. It's gonna be amazing. Great. For two bucks a person, we bought passage across. So cool. Tree swallows. And Galen really enjoyed the ferry ride. Like, really enjoyed it. Yeah, don't fall. Yeah. Along the CNO Canal, it's absolutely beautiful. We have about 35 miles of this. The abandoned canal offers a great habitat for so many creatures and I can't help but stopping to look for animals along the way. So cute. Decay's brown snake. It's the cutest little thing. Right? Aw. Cool. We'll, we'll put it back. I'll put the log back first and then I can go. There you go, buddy. Try to have a snake, buddy. Don't touch your face. So we're almost halfway done. My legs have not fallen off. This is actually very pleasant. This side is beautiful. It's just the Potomac on our right and this canal, abandoned canal on our left. It's just wonderful out here. We gotta get on a bike. Unfortunately, we don't really have the appropriate tires for this bumpy gravel. And the trail is also muddy from the rain of the night before. Every pedal rotation feels like I'm doing twice the work than when we were on the asphalt. My legs are really, really starting to hurt and swell up. Stretching helps. Snacks are nice. Talking with the local fishers is something I always enjoy. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice catch. Yeah, not bad. Getting a little flight and stuff. That's all I wanted. Great. He's fast. Uh, obviously, you're one. It's like a little cross. Yeah, hard to get a boat through there. Hey, you can't really take a boat up the Potomac, so I guess that's why this canal exists. But it's, just, it's unique. There's a canal literally just adjacent to a natural water source. Pretty cool. Anyway. It's gonna go down. Okay. That's how big that turtle is. That is a beautiful snapper. Worth it.
This is a lock of the canal. These were used to help boats switch water levels during transit. And just on the other side of this lock, a bunch of beautiful snakes are enjoying these sun warmed rocks. There's a whole bunch. So on this little side shoot off, there's a whole bunch of uh, water snakes. You can see that one in there. We've got, look at this big guy. That's my homie. Fit now. Uh, they won't bite. Only 10 feet from the snakes is a nice cold creek. I use the opportunity to lessen the swelling and pain in my legs while Galen took care of some more business. I also met some more new friends. So my legs are really burning. This water is ice cold. This feels amazing. It looks a little weird, but it feels amazing. Captain's log. We are at mile 45 or 50. The cold creek helped my legs, but I feel it. Galen is a strong biker, but this is, uh, we're seeing a lot of wildlife. Wah, wah, wah. Great Falls is always a nice stop along the Potomac. The nearby tree frogs engulf the sounds of the river with their alluring cacophony. Stop at every snapping turtle you see. Over there. Also, look at that lovely mud. And those nice, strong biking legs. But then... Damn ahead. Deadly undertow. Get to shore. That's my homie up in the tree right there. We're never gonna get home if we keep stopping. We're very close to DC where we crossed the Potomac. And I'll tell you what, my legs feel like they've been hit over and over with baseball bats. But I'm gonna tough through it. No choice. Whoop. Pavement once again. Yeah, yeah. Happy to be back on the pavement. The District of Columbia, or D.C., offers us a chance to refuel and rehydrate. Don't burn yourself. Mm. We've burned probably like 30 million calories. Mm. <laughs> I'm so tired after this pizza, I could take a nap. We still have about another 20 miles to get back home.
It's been 12 hours since we left Reston. We have to get home. And our exhaustion is making us a bit silly. Wait, you wait! Eleven, ten, nine, Sounds like a bomb's about to go off. <laughs> I kept saying, wait, wait! Five, wait four, you wait! <laughs> I think I think I heard signs coming. There we go. Last snacks in Vienna. The W and O D at night is offering us a very peaceful ride. That's the that's the gas station we started at, right? Yes. We uh, we came down this morning. We came down this street and then turned right and went down the path right that way. And now we're coming back up to catch where we started. We, after our big loop, we've made it. <laughs> yep. Uh, so we just got to get to home now. It's like another mile. Last path in. Because of this day, I can only say that I have a lot more respect for bicycling and I will be getting on my bike much more often. It's a much more relaxing form of transit than being in a car and dealing with traffic. Great. We're home. We're home 14 and a half hours later. Amazing. Quite. I'm feeling it. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry and tired. All right, we're going to get some food. Amazing day. So good. And even though I'm a well-conditioned athlete, I cannot recommend to anyone who's not bicycle-conditioned to go 80 miles in one day. Start with the 10, 20 miles, and then work your way up. I could hardly move my legs the next day, and my butt was sore for many days. You can become a member of MassBike and learn more about Galen's not-for-profit organization at MassBike.org. And consider joining Cohen Nature as a patron and get rewarded with patron-only content. Just click on the P that's showing up. We have helped a quarter of a million people learn about nature, science, and interact with the outdoors. Spread some knowledge, be nature heroic, and I hope to see you on a bicycle. And next week.